what is inside an air compressor there is this air compressor it also has a flashlight it has the pressure gauge kilogram centimeter square and something like that okay that's the model it says 250 psi that's a bit too much but that's what it says it works at 12 volts DC and it also has a light on the side this is flashing and of course that's the hose you have to push down this side and then it is squeezing the end okay and let's take a look at this part also the rubber is here on the side but when you push down this one it is squeezing it and it is pushing out the center element okay I already removed four screws those that's what is inside here's the 12 volt plug for the car that comes here and it enters there to the switch that's the motor and the compressor itself that small diameter shaft that one is rotating this larger wheel thus the rpm is reduced and power torque is increased here you can see it rotating this one has a piston inside and that is pushing the air this side as I see it's not removable I wanted to replace the hose with one that has a thread at the end but I see I can't remove it okay here's the pressure gauge it comes from from this point it also has a small circuit board there and the light bulb the circuit board is making the bulb flash these are incandescent light bulbs inside this is a pretty large bulb okay let's remove it and pull out that one also so the circuit board is visible there it has some transistors capacitors a diode and a large bulb and as I see it is not even in its place it wasn't inside there as it should be that's the circuit there are two switches there one for the flashlight and one for the compressor the motor has only those two connectors it's a brushed motor brushless motors have three connectors yes we have some label 12 volts it is also cooling itself it has a small fan inside that's a counterweight so it won't oscillate that's not removable also I think and that's it ok now let's power it on I connected some wires here the plus and the minus here the compressor is off here it's on let's put it here so minus the green and plus there of course this battery is pretty discharged ok now the battery is being charged the charger says 12.2 volts 12.9 ok so now it's charging, now let's try the compressor also 
So this mesh has 250 psi. Let's see if I can hold my hand there and let's see the pressure increasing. This battery is pretty discharged. Whoa, the wires are hot. So this consumes <laughs> quite some amperage. Let's measure that one also. M setting, because you have to move that one there. And we have to interrupt the circuit. So I will place this one here. It's pulling two point something amps. Okay, now let's see when I cover the air output, how much it will consume. I can definitely hold my hand there and the wire is hot so such a thin wire is not good for 3 amps that's a little bit thicker that's a the green ones a little bit thinner both of them are connected to the same side of this 12 volt plug this wire is also thin so that is also reducing the power listen to the sound how much amperage can be drawn from a thin wire compared to a little bit thicker wire. So it will be more silent through this one and more noisy, the compressor, through this one. Silent and noisy. That's a thin wire. That's a thicker wire. So it makes a large difference. Now I will replace both wires. The difference is not huge, thickness wise, but conductivity wise it is. <laughs> That's a huge difference. So before only the right side, the plus was blocking the current. Now both of them are conducting much better. Okay, now let's see how much is drawing in this way. So this way it's drawing around almost 4 amps. Of course the battery is still being charged right now. Now let's see if I can block the air while it's much faster. I mean while the pressure should increase. Notice the needle how it's moving up when the hose is covered plus the amperage is increasing while I'm blocking the air. So this is going up almost to 4 bar so it will not pump more air than let's say 3.5 bar. Or maybe three. Almost three and a half. But you can definitely keep your hand there while doing this. So at around three bars you can keep your hand on it. You can block three bar of pressure with your finger. can hear the air coming out it is escaping somewhere it's escaping 